What's going on people? I'm Koli Obasa of BizKoliobasa.com Between 2008 and 2021, over 30 world leaders have died while in office. 18 of them were African. So why are these African leaders dying in office? What's going on people? This is Koli Obasa of BizKoliobasa.com Did you forget? Firstly, let's have a look at these African leaders who have died while in office. Levy Patrick Wanawasa. He served as president from January 2002 until his death in August 2008. Wanawasa is credited for having initiated a campaign to rid the corruption situation in Zambia during his term. On the 1st of July 2008, International SOS evacuated him by air ambulance to France for further treatment. Wanawasa died on the morning of 19th August 2008 at the Percy Military Hospital in Paris. He was aged 59. Lansana Conte died of an undisclosed illness at the age of 74 after ruling his country for 24 years. Conte suffered from various health issues for which he constantly sought medical treatment abroad. Despite this, he won three elections between April 1984 until his death in December 2008. Omar Bongo died of advanced intestinal cancer in June 2009 in Barcelona after being in office for 42 consecutive years. He was 72 years old and was one of the longest serving rulers in African history and according to some, one of the most corrupt. Joao Bernardo Vieira was assassinated in March 2009 at the age of 69. He served as head of state for a total of 31 years. He became prime minister in 1978 and seized power in 1980, ruling for 19 years. He transitioned into civilian presidency and ruled his country before his death in 2009. Umaru Musa Yaradua died at 58 on the 5th of May 2010 from pericarditis. His health deteriorated after his election in April 2007. President Yaradua left Nigeria for treatment abroad on the 23rd of November 2009 and was never seen in public again. Muammar Gaddafi, commonly known as Colonel Gaddafi, was assassinated on October 20th, 2011. He was 69 years old. Gaddafi ruled Libya for 42 years after seizing power from the Libyan monarchy following the bloodless military coup in 1969. His rule was brought to an end during the Arab Spring Revolution after he was captured and subsequently killed in unclear circumstances by rebel forces. Malam Bakai Sanha suffered from diabetes and died in Paris after four years as president at the age of 64. Throughout his time in office, he suffered from several health complications and was continually in and out of hospital. Binguwa Buterika suffered a heart attack on the 5th of April 2012 at the age of 78. At the time of his death, he had served for eight years and had gained some popularity amongst his people for his food and agricultural policies, till widespread protest over allegations of corruption.
John Otto Mills died of stroke and throat cancer at the age of 68. He was in office for only three years. During his tenure, John Otto Mills gained local and international commendations for his popular economic and social reforms. Mele Senawi died in August of 2012 in Belgium at the age of 57 of an undisclosed illness. At the time of his death, Senawi had led Ethiopia for a total of 21 years, as president from 1991 to 1995 and as prime minister from 1995 to 2012. He is known for introducing multi-party democracy but also for violently suppressing the legitimate protest of the Oromia people of Northern Ethiopia. Michael Sutter died at the age of 77 of an undisclosed illness in the UK on October 28, 2014. Following his election in 2011, his health started failing and was regularly absent at various state functions. His spokesman told the nation he was in good health till his death was announced. Idris Deby died on April 20th, 2021, after being in power for 30 years. Deby died while commanding forces fighting on the front against rebels from the Front for Change and Concord in Chad. Fact. Deby won elections in 1996 and 2001, and after term limits were eliminated, he won again in 2006, 2011, 2016, and 2021. John Magufuli died at 61 on 17th March 2021 from a heart disease that had plagued him for a decade. Before his death was made public, there were several rumors that he had contracted COVID-19, although state officials denied this. Magafuli was known for denying the existence of COVID-19 during his leadership. He was Tanzania's first president to die while in office. It is certainly true that leaders are dying in office in higher numbers in Africa than on any other continent. Why is this so common in Africa? The obvious answer is that African leaders are older than those of other continents. The average age of African leaders is 61 years, the same as in Asia. European leaders are on average 55 years old while in South America, it is 59. Also, it remains a fact that the typical African leader has the tendency to cling to power. Some of them were dictators who transitioned to civilian rule, but still struggled to live voluntarily. Like Omar Bongo, Hassan Conte, and Muammar Gaddafi. For now, Africa has the renowned record of registering presidential deaths. We certainly hope there is a change in fortune and a Passover of this unenviable tag, if only for stability in the African continent. Maybe it's about time Africa needs to start looking at younger, fitter politicians to rule her. And for these guys to finish their tenors and leave. That ain't too much to ask, is it? That's me done for today, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. I'm Koli Obasa. See you in the next video. God bless. What's going on, people? This is Kaliobasa of this Kaliobasa.com. Did you forget? <laughs>